Hey guys, welcome back to another unboxing video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, today I finally got it. The Canon EOS Rebel T100. And I got that because the camera I got last time was a little less than satisfactory. And if you hear any ruffling in the background, that's my house cat playing with a paper bag. It comes with the Canon carry strap. My PNY adapter, 32 gigabyte card, as you can tell. For the, it says here, a dash camera micro SD HD card. This is the first time me owning one of these, so this is brand new even to me. So, hold on guys. I got my instructions manual, uh, care pack, as you can tell, comes with the camera. But wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all, wait a minute. Oh, we have a lot of plastic in here, y'all. We got a lot of plastic. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, why they do me like that? Why they do me like that, y'all? Why they do me like that? Look, 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 look. It comes so fresh. It comes so fresh, y'all. Look, look, look. Hold on. We have the cover. Uh, the cover. We have the camera cap. So that way you don't take any accidental photos. You just unscrew this thing right here and it comes off. And um, I got to get the frontal put on. That's why. You know what I mean? As well. So give me just a sec while I get that put on. I was really excited to get this camera, ladies and gentlemen. My wife, uh, she took me to go purchase this from our local Walmart. They had it on sale. And I kept hearing positive reviews about the EOS. So I was really excited to get it. And here it is, right here. Ooh, they keep her fresh, y'all. They keep her fresh like Subway sandwiches. And this is a 18 to 55 millimeter EFS stabilizer lens. As you can tell. Oh, she looking fresh, y'all. She looking fresh. Hold on. Fresh like Subway sandwiches. Oh. Well, still learning, ladies and gentlemen. I thought I had it on tight, but but yeah, once you attach it, it'll automatically extend the lens. I had it in the truck of my car. That's why the lens is off. Um, so we're gonna cut this bad boy on in just a sec. Make sure there's no more in the package. Well, of course, we can cut it on if we had the battery. So give me just a sec. Just a sec, y'all. This is the card battery right here. Well, hold on. Might have skipped a step. So I think I pulled the battery out. I know it takes double A batteries. I was lying. And it has a rechargeable port. But anyway, this is the EOS camera and full display. I'm going to put this aside until I can locate the battery. This is your 18 to 55 millimeter uh, EFS lens. And it helps you take great shots and everything like that. Um, like I said, I'm going to skip the video here in just a sec while I locate the lens. And I'm going to get right back to you guys. Hold on. Next guys. up, guys, I have my Vivitar Creator Series Audio Stream Sound Mixer. So when I'm doing my podcast, I can do all those fly kind of, uh, how you say that, ad-libs and little sound bites in it. So we're going to go and unpack this real quick. Give me just a sec, y'all. I really thought I could get into, you know, having the 
camera going for you guys, but the, unfortunately, the EOS Rebel T100 that I bought by Canon didn't come with the battery, unfortunately. So um, I have to go back to Walmart to purchase the battery. Um, I don't know why that one didn't come in the packaging itself, but yeah. Hold on, y'all. Just a moment, gotta get these little round little stickers off. So that I can open the package properly without damaging it. And look at this, y'all. Look at this. Hold on. Here we have our USB ports. And as you can tell, it's a type C. Have the audio jack adapters so it can go directly into my phone when I'm recording the podcast. And then I have my USB to uh, Type C USB to Type C USB hookup so I can, you know, audio port directly into the phone itself. I don't need a computer or anything like that. So let's get this. Let's take, let's take a good look at this bad boy right here. Good look at it. See what we working with, y'all. Hold on. <laughs> we have our little Vivitar little Creator Series audio little pamphlet real quick right there. Now, would you look at this? Clean. So if you're going for a basic setup, I would recommend this right here. Um, It doesn't come with any type of jack because I don't want to disconnect my uh, lighting that I have right now. The only lighting I'm using. So I'm going to brighten the lens for you guys, speaking of which. There we go. So it has high and high. Well, I don't know if you can tell. I might have the lighting. Too bright. Give me a second here. I might want to switch to another one. There we go. I'm going to lower it a little bit. I don't know if you can see it. There's high right here. I know. The lighting is shining brightly on this camera, on this little thing right here. High, mid, low. And then we have the effect and reverb switch directly. We have everything from muting your guest. If you have a guest on your podcast and they start to get reckless, you can hit mute right here. And you can, if you need to go take a break, like a snack break, a bathroom break or whatever, you can tell your, your guests, hey, hold on real quick. We'll be right back. Um, I have a uh, brief intermission I have to go to. Press this mute all button and mute all mics because you don't want any embarrassing sounds or of you snacking or using the bathroom in the background. You don't want any of that. So um, you can press that button. You have a voiceover button right here when you're recording voiceovers. Well, I think that's really cool. I'm going to start to get into myself. Um, you have a DJ air horn, custom sound, ding, a curse word, sad trombone. Uh, car horn and crickets you know what I mean it, it really is amazing I would recommend this if you're getting into podcasting and you're a you know beginner at it I didn't start with any of this equipment you know so uh, this was all explained to me years after the back so uh, a lot of the audio effects I was using was directly from the app itself but now knowing that a mixer an audio mixer would be more preferable for all the great sound effects, especially if you have a humorous, uh, more comedic tone in your podcast. Um, I don't like this dark lighting. Speaking of comedic tone, hold on, y'all. If you have a more comedic tone in your podcast, I would recommend something like this audio mixer right here. You can add little funny effects, laughter, you know, background laughter, clapping noise, and all that good stuff. So this is the Vivitar audio sound mixer right here. I would recommend this if you're definitely on a budget. Uh, great sound, great quality. I tested this one out, so I cheated this one for y'all. I'm going to put it back in the box. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. 
getting a little complicated putting her back. She don't want to go back in the box, y'all. She don't want to go back in. She don't want to go back in the box. She said I'm fresh and I'm going to stay fresh. I'm putting them backwards. Hold on. There we go. I just put it in backwards, y'all. Hold on. And I forgot to put the auto and keep this horse back in. That's why it sucks opening something for the first time and you gotta put it back. Next up. I have, this is self-explanatory, this is an on wireless selfie stick. So when I'm on the go and I'm using my lapel microphone, uh, especially because I have, you know, an extended condenser wire that goes directly to, from the phone to the microphone itself. So it makes it, you know, not normal where it, all right, you clip on the lapel microphone and it's about four feet long normally. This makes like the extended, you know, condenser cord makes it about seven to eight feet long. So if I walk with it normally, it's going to swing or I'm going to trip over it. So this right here allows me to extend the camera out. So that way, if I have the lapel or microphone wrapped around my body and I only have a few, you know, uh, inches of it, you know, with maybe a little bit of slack, I, you know, can focus on giving you guys the best content without worrying about tripping on wire so this is pretty self-explanatory this is a on um, wireless selfie stick and it goes from 12 and a half uh, 12.9 inches to you know, 39 inches total so it can extend all the way out so it's really good to have if you like vlogging on the go so there we go with that one now what I really was excited about was this right here. This is my HP 14 laptop. And I snagged it for a good deal today at Walmart. It was on sale um, almost at a Black Friday price. You know what I mean? I only paid 100 bucks for it even. And they were a bit overstocked with it. So hold on. I'm going to get this open. I'm going to be right back once I have it open so I can display it. All right, guys. Here it is in all its cobalt blue. I love that metallic finish all across the board. Let's check out the, uh, the keys, see what they're looking like. Damn, and there it is. From keyboard to the keys itself. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Uh huh. And um, I'm going to plug the charger port into it to power it up, see what the screen looking like. Give me just a sec, y'all comes with its adapter right here the power bank itself and the actual power cord so you always want to make sure these two are plugged into each other they, uh, they intersect into this power bank right here before you can really boot it up um, which is pretty much an oxymoron everybody knows this but most people look at it like oh what am I supposed to do next and I do apologize about the dogs barking in the yard they probably see a cat or something, so don't pay any attention to that, ladies and gentlemen. I love them dearly, but sometimes they bark at each other. But anyway. Tangled real quick. Oh, it's detached. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. So, I'm going to let it charge for a few minutes. We're going to talk for just a bit because I also have a spare camera strap just in case when I'm carrying my Canon around I don't you know and I don't want to lose the actual strap to the camera itself and this one is a little longer it's about 40 to 60 inches and it's adjustable and it has that nice sleek design right there guys so you're not really feeling the tug of the camera. It's not really rubbing against your shoulder if you got a t-shirt on. That's one of the things I can't stand if I'm carrying a backpack or if I'm carrying 
my equipment and my duffel bag and the strap is just rubbing against my shoulder and my neck you know what i mean i i, I don't like that feeling so this one has that thicker band with so that way you know uh you're carrying it it's more comfort while you're carrying your camera and everything like that so um you can use it you know what i mean for your camera you can use it for your gopro if it has a, um, a camera extension on it and everything like that you can use it to carry i think it's easier if you do it that way especially with your camera strap instead of putting it all in the backpack and you know dragging it to a location or uh, uh, a scene that you want to go like a what do you call that an itinerary where you want to set up shop to you know um, set up all your equipment and everything like that it's easier if you just carry that your recording equipment um, much like the sound mixer I have your phone and maybe your shotgun mic if you have a you know, Canon or a Sony camera uh, or any type uh, make sure that you want to make it as convenient as possible most definitely on you as a content creator but anyway right now I'm charging up the laptop I don't know how far it's charged guys but I do want to boot it up because I'm curious and I'm recording with my content on you know uh, that's why I prefer to just have a refurbished one card transfer it to another computer once I have more space on that one uh, my goal is to get at least one terabyte of space on this laptop because I'm going to need it for all my videos and everything like that so but anyway ladies and gentlemen this has been an unboxing video um, like I said I was really excited to show you guys because I'm, I'm really taking this channel to the next level I'm really excited to be able to take this channel to the next level and really go all in you know what I mean so uh, I think you guys were rocking with me I do apologize about my dogs barking in the background and I apologize for not being able to show you the full functionality of the Canon camera oh it has a nice little blue window screen. you can't see it because my camera sucks but we're getting it all set up right now so but anyway, guys, I hope you all have a beautiful and blessed evening. I love you guys, and I will see you guys in the next one.